Hello everyone. And welcome back once again to another interesting video. In today's video we'll discuss, top 20 data analyst interview questions along with detailed explanations. So if you are ready, let's start today's video. Landing your dream data analyst role boils down to one crucial step, the interview. Feeling prepared can be the difference between showcasing your skills and stumbling over basic concepts. To help you ace your next data-fueled conversation, let's delve into the top 20 data analyst interview questions you're likely to encounter, along with insightful tips and detailed explanations. Question 1. Can you explain the difference between descriptive and inferential statistics? Answer. Descriptive statistics summarize and organize data, providing insights into the main features of a dataset, for example, mean, median, mode. Inferential statistics, on the other hand, involve making inferences and predictions about a population based on a sample of data. Question 2. What is the CRISP-DM model, and how is it used in data analysis? Answer. CRISP-DM or cross-industry standard process for data mining is a widely used methodology for data mining and analytics. It consists of six phases, business understanding, data understanding, data preparation, modeling, evaluation, and deployment. It provides a structured approach for tackling data analysis projects. Question 3. Explain the concept of normal distribution. Answer. Normal distribution, also known as the Gaussian distribution, is a bell-shaped probability distribution characterized by a symmetric and mound-shaped curve. In a normal distribution, mean, median, and mode are equal, and the data is evenly distributed around the mean. The famous 68-95-99.7 rule describes the percentage of data within 1, 2, and three standard deviations from the mean. Question 4. What is the difference between a join and union in SQL? Answer. Join is used to combine rows from two or more tables based on a related column, while union is used to combine the results of two or more select statements into a single result set. Join involves combining columns horizontally, and union involves stacking rows vertically. Question 5. How do you handle missing or null values in a dataset? Answer. Handling missing values can involve techniques like removing rows with missing values, imputing values based on the mean or median, or using advanced techniques such as predictive modeling to fill in missing data. The approach depends on the nature and context of the data. Question 6. Explain the concept of outliers. How do you identify and handle outliers in a dataset? Answer. Outliers are data points that significantly differ from the rest of the data. They can be identified using statistical methods like z-scores or visualization techniques like box plots. Handling outliers can involve removing them, transforming the data, or using robust statistical methods. Question 7. What is the purpose of the group by clause in SQL? Answer. The group by clause in SQL is used to group rows that have the same values in specified columns into summary rows. It is often used in conjunction with aggregate functions like count, sum, AVG, etc., to perform operations on each group of rows. Question 8. Explain the term p-value in the context of hypothesis testing. Answer. The p-value is a measure that helps determine the significance of results in a hypothesis test. It represents the probability of observing the given data, or more extreme, under the assumption that the null hypothesis is true. A lower p-value indicates stronger evidence against the null hypothesis. Question 9. What is the difference between correlation and causation? Answer. Correlation is a statistical measure that describes the extent to which two variables change together, 
but it does not imply causation. Causation indicates that a change in one variable is responsible for a change in another. Establishing causation requires additional evidence beyond correlation. Question 10. How does data normalization contribute to database design? Answer. Data normalization is a process in database design that organizes data in a way to reduce redundancy and improve data integrity. It involves breaking down large tables into smaller, related tables and ensuring that data dependencies are logical and efficient. Question 11. What is the purpose of a WHERE clause in SQL? Answer. The WHERE clause in SQL is used to filter records based on a specified condition. It allows you to retrieve only the rows that meet the specified criteria, providing a way to narrow down the results of a query. Question 12. Explain the difference between machine learning and predictive modeling. Answer. Machine learning is a broader field that encompasses the use of algorithms and statistical models to enable systems to perform tasks without explicit programming. Predictive modeling is a specific application of machine learning that involves using data and algorithms to make predictions about future outcomes. Question 13. How do you assess the quality of a machine learning model? Answer. Model evaluation involves using metrics such as accuracy, precision, recall, F1 score, and ROCAUC to assess the performance of a machine learning model. Additionally, cross-validation techniques help ensure that the model's performance is consistent across different subsets of the data. Question 14. Explain the concept of data warehousing. Answer. Data warehousing involves the process of collecting, storing, and managing data from different sources in a central repository. It provides a consolidated view of data for analysis and reporting, typically supporting the decision-making process within an organization. Question 15. What is the difference between supervised and unsupervised learning? Answer. Supervised learning involves training a model on a labeled dataset, where the algorithm learns to map input data to a target variable. Unsupervised learning deals with unlabeled data, and the algorithm tries to find patterns or structures within the data without explicit guidance. Question 16. How would you approach a time series analysis? Answer. Time series analysis involves studying data collected over time to identify patterns and trends. Steps include data cleaning, visualization, decomposition, and applying statistical or machine learning models such as ARIMA or LSTM for forecasting. Question 17. Explain the concept of A-B testing. Answer. A-B testing, also known as split testing is a method for comparing two versions of a web page or app to determine which performs better. It involves dividing users into two groups, A and B, showing each group a different version, and then analyzing the performance metrics to determine the more effective version. Question 18. What is the role of a data analyst in the context of business intelligence? Answer. A data analyst plays a crucial role in business intelligence by collecting, processing, and analyzing data to provide actionable insights. This includes creating reports, dashboards, and visualizations to help stakeholders make informed decisions. Question 19. Explain the concept of big data and how it differs from traditional data processing. Answer. Big data refers to extremely large and complex datasets that cannot be easily processed using traditional database management tools. It is characterized by the three verses, volume, velocity, and variety. Big data technologies, such as Hadoop and Spark, are designed to handle these challenges. Question 20. How would you communicate your findings from a data analysis to non-technical stakeholders? Answer. 
Communicating findings to non-technical stakeholders involves presenting insights in a clear and concise manner. This may include creating visualizations, using layman's terms, and focusing on the practical implications of the analysis. Effective communication is key to ensuring that data-driven insights are understood and actionable. Conclusion In addition to these questions, it's essential to be prepared for practical exercises, case studies, and discussions about specific projects you've worked on. Remember to demonstrate your problem-solving skills, critical thinking, and ability to apply your knowledge to real-world scenarios. Good luck with your data analyst interview. That's all for this video. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and hit that notification bell for more content. So you don't miss any upcoming video. And, if you have any questions or topics, you'd like us to cover in future videos. Please let us know in the comments below. Until next time, keep exploring and keep coding. Thanks for watching, and happy coding.